There's an article on the BBC website that pretty much sums up all that is wrong with uh, with the current situation and 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 the way the leadership wants to take this. And it's uh, it's titled "The Banking System Made an Astonishing Mess." And uh, they did, of course, and they admitted. But uh, in the article, you can read this. You can read the the MP members of Parliament supported the various attempts of the government to bail out the banks and to shore up the banking system. Underneath it says, but they criticized banks for increasing their charges and fees to small business borrowers. That's just so unbalanced, and that's just exactly what's wrong, because this is like, uh, you know, uh, they they can act when it is uh, uh, regarding uh, bailouts they can create billions of uh, pounds in this case but if it's about uh, the normal consumer uh, then they criticize the banks they go no no you cannot do that but they do nothing as if they cannot do anything of course they can do something when it if it would be balanced then they would say to the banks okay uh, some of you are solvent some of you are insolvent not our responsibility but of course we need some uh, financial structure and uh, it's a huge part of the economy so maybe we're gonna give some of you uh, some money and we take ownership of your uh, of your businesses of course because you're no longer able to uh, to afford it yourself and to balance this out we're gonna prohibit you from uh, raising charges uh, to the normal consumer otherwise you'll try and that's actually exactly what they're doing of course to shore up your uh, accounts and your reserves by um, by strangling uh, and milking uh, the, the normal lender uh, with higher interest rates and, and all this stuff of course it's not fair if you lend from us at a low interest rate to lend to a consumer at a much higher interest rate while the whole problem is not with you being out of business because nobody would notice if you would disappear uh, but with the effect of that uh, that occurring uh, on the consumer they have uh, businesses that they need to fund and Etc. That would be a balanced government, but of course the government is completely owned by the banks in the, in the UK, I guess, as well as, as elsewhere. But it's just, and this all has, comes back to uh, the entitlement syndrome that I put here, is that somehow there's this thought that it is the natural state of things to have a banking system that is hugely uh, 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 prosperous and rich, that has all the money. And that has the right to determine whether a normal uh, working person or a normal company can uh, can uh, can increase value from resources towards a product or from time towards uh, uh, by by skills to to by offering a service. You know, it's it's the natural state of things apparently that there's this group of people that 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 are the the, the referees and the playmasters and 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 the other people are in the arena. And these referees and playmasters determine how much uh, uh, credit and money each player has, so they can compete nicely and, and make a nice spectacle uh, for for these people. And of course, that's not a natural state of things. That's just an aberration that has uh, been uh, has come about in the last hundred years, and that I guess will go away and uh, and hopefully soon. But and it's well, I think the the combination of of on the one hand saying well we, we have to bail out the banks and but we will criticize them that's such a such a show of complete incompetence for a government that is uh, making me sick <laughs>